Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate it if you purchase your next watch from us at Jazztime.com. Today we'll be talking about the Rolex Wimbledon, the 41mm in oyster steel and Everose gold, what they call the Everose Rolls or the colloquial term, the Rose Gold two-tone, however you want to call it, it's the same thing. This one on an oyster steel, or oyster style bracelet rather, right, re reference number 126331. We'll be going over the case, the dial, the bezel, crown functions, as well as the movement and the bracelet. I'll be giving my thoughts on all of these throughout this video. All right, so starting off with the case, we have a full oyster steel case, meaning that it is Rolex's own blend of steel and other minerals to create a very high polish while maintaining that extremely durable strength. We have a 41 millimeter size case from finger to thumb. That's the diameter from the two to eight position or the 10 to four same distance. All right, we have the monoblock middle case with the screw down case back and the Rolex winding crown also in rose gold to ensure waterproofness, water resistance down to 100 meters or 330 feet. Now sitting on, looking at the front of the case, we have a full high polish as you can see on these front of these lugs here as well as on the sides a nice gentle bevel it's it's hardly a bevel really it's a very uh, nice curve actually it feels very nice to the touch and just overall incredibly smooth and now sitting on the front of the case we have the bezel this is the Everose bezel Everose being a mixture of gold and oyster steel and a few other minerals, materials, in order to create this high polish, this extremely high luster uh, rose gold that actually maintains its color uh, supposedly to outlast any other rose gold because, uh, well, m more other types of rose gold tend to have this uh, sort of fading over time dynamic that just sort of happens, whereas this Everose will keep its color throughout its lifetime, and its lifetime is incredibly long. All right, now taking a look at the, the fluted nature of this bezel, this was originally made with the intent of screwing directly onto the front of the case to ensure that waterproofness, but modern advances over time have made that, well, not really all that necessary. So it's kept there as a mark of distinction from Rolex so that you know that you have a Rolex on your wrist and they always make it in some sort of precious metal. In this case, Everose Gold. Looking at this dial now, this is what makes this watch special. It's what they call the Wimbledon. The green outlines on these Roman numerals sort of signifying the green grass of the Wimbledon fields during the tennis tournaments and the matching Rolex uh, Everose gold crown just really makes that pop a little bit differently than on the yellow gold or the white gold versions of this dial and watch. The nine o'clock uh, index marker still there to counterbalance the date window. If it's there for any other reason, well, let me know. I'd like to know down in the comments below. Uh, the minute and hour hands, same Everose gold along with that Lance style seconds hand all center mounted all right and also keep in mind that there is a a peripheral track for the minutes and seconds with arabic numerals for every five increments so it's really easy to set the watch and speaking of which you can also do so quite easily using the winding crown simply unwind it at the three o'clock position this first position allows you to wind the watch so if you're at a dead stop about 10 about 20 to 30 full winds is all you need to get to the full power reserve nice and easy there pull the crown out to the next position you can advance the date by one it's about a quarter turn to advance the date so pretty easy if you find yourself a time traveler very easy to read underneath that cyclops lens which is mounted not really mounted it's literally a part of the sapphire crystal directly on this uh crystal glare proofed and scratch resistant, highly scratch resistant. I, I have yet to try to scratch one of these myself and it's incredibly difficult, honestly. Now, if you find yourself on the 30th of a month and tomorrow is the first of the next month, just move it once and there you go. Wait for the hour hand to sweep past midnight and you're good to go. It'll be on the first of the next month really soon. All right, pull the crown out to the final position. Note that the seconds hand does actually stop there. So you do get that 
<coughs> that hacking seconds function, excuse me. So you can then set the minute hand precisely to wherever it needs to go based on the position of that seconds hand and where you are in your current time zone. Press the crown back in to ensure that superior water resistance after screwing it in tightly against the case. And it also starts up that seconds hand so you're good to go right there. Now what allows all of this to work, it is the uh, made in-house movement by Rolex the 3235 caliber. You can't see it through the case back because you do have that added security of that solid steel case back. And you have that precision of plus or minus two second per day time differential as indicated by the superlative chronometer uh, certification printed on every Rolex dial. This means that it will basically be keeping time better than any other timekeeping device that you happen to have. Well, minus a quartz movement or a cell phone. Well, but that's neither here nor there. The functions allow for the center, minute, hour, and seconds hands with the instantaneous state with rapid setting and the stop seconds for precise time setting, all of which I had just demonstrated. The oscillator on the inside is a, has a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring with high performance paraflex shock absorbers. What does that mean? That means you can get relatively close to magnets. You can take a few bumps here and there. And they'll be keeping track of time just fine. No need to worry about the timekeeping abilities of this watch. I know you get really close to magnets on a daily basis. I do too. That was sarcasm. <laughs> okay, now, the winder on the inside is a bidirectional self-winding perpetual rotor, also center-mounted. So, all you need to do is just wind the watch using the winding crown once, and wearing it on your wrist will keep it wound, uh, because the natural movements of your wrist will allow that rotor to rotate on the inside, thereby uh, winding up the mainspring so that you can then continue on with your day without ever having to take your watch off and wind it again. It has a total power reserve of about 70 hours, so that's about three entire days, just two hours shy of exactly three days. So what that means is that you can set this down on Friday evening, pick it back up on Monday morning, ready to conduct business, and it'll be keeping track of time just fine. No need to wind the watch, All right? Now, looking at this bracelet here, nicely framing the case, we have the oyster style bracelet, also Everose gold down the center links, high polish with satin brush finished links on the outside, oyster steel, high polish on the sides of these links, all right, and there's also a gentle, gentle taper down to the oyster folding clasp, also two-tone in its nature. Lift the top to open it, nice and easy. The inside shows the Rolex stamped logo, and you're also dealing with steel. Also, something I'd like to point out on all of these oyster folding clasps is the Easy Link 5mm extension. I'm actually surprised a lot of people still don't know about this. So, say you have your watch sized nice and snug to your wrist, but then summer is coming up, so you end up, uh, let's say you pound two entire liters of water, you go for a walk outside and it's 100 degrees, dear God, don't melt, but your wrist will probably swell in the heat and with your hydration. So. All you need to do is just take your watch off, look underneath this clasp, and just pull the bracelet out directly, and there you go. Another half link of an oyster bracelet, or if you have the Jubilee, it's about uh, an entire Jubilee link from that point. So you don't want to hold it, keep it in this position, and have your watch sized in this position. You'll want it sized at the smaller position so that if you happen to be in that position, literally, to, you know, to require just a tiny bit of expansion of that bracelet, you can just do so very easily, like so. And when you no longer need it, just simply fold it back in on itself, press it tightly back against the clasp, and it will snap in nice and easy. While we're here, I can actually try it on, and also give you my thoughts as to how it wears on the wrist. Now keep in mind, my wrist is 7 inches in circumference, or 18 centimeters. Excuse me. There we go. So it's a little bit big for me, uh, with full lengths, but taking a look at it straight on, face on, very, very distinctive because of that nine o'clock index hour marker. It's very indicative of that Wimbledon style dial. This is the only dial, by the way, the slate dial with the Roman numeral hour markers that has that one odd index marker out. So when people see this, they know it's a Wimbledon. All right, now looking at it face on, when it comes to the readability, not incredibly easy to read. However, even in the dark, it is still recognizable. And recognition is probably all you really need. The 
luminescence, the chroma light display on the index hour marker at the 9 o'clock, balancing out that, well, non-glowing date aperture with the minute and an hour hands glowing very distinctly. Well, shows you it is certainly a Wimbledon dial, and this dial is incredibly popular. I don't know why this specific model is not quite as popular as it should be, because I've sold a lot of the yellow gold or the white gold versions of this model, but not the ever rose gold and rose gold tends to be more popular these days at least as of the making of this video it tends to fluctuate here here and there but generally more popular than yellow gold and white gold so i don't know why this one doesn't really seem to see the circulation all that much but that is neither here nor there when it comes to fitting on a seven inch wrist it's a little bit big for me because 41 inches is well honestly too big i prefer 36 inch diameter watches and therefore the lug to lug span will be a little bit smaller and you get more framing of the bracelet not so much here but you know to each their own this one does provide you a little bit with with a little bit more of that wrist presence when it comes to the size and obviously it's distinction the Wimbledon dial of course now looking at down the wrist we have a quite a bit of space underneath these lugs again this is a little bit big for me so your mileage will certainly vary if you have a larger wrist or a smaller wrist more space or less space under the lugs depending on your wrist size now keep in mind that the lugs even though they sort of protrude out a little bit they don't go beyond the edge of my wrist so perfectly fine to wear this it's not gonna uh, hit on any rogue doorknobs or you know any desks that happen to be sitting out a little bit farther out than they usually do so you'll be perfectly fine wearing this if you wear say a 36 millimeter watch or any or anything around that range the extra space does give it a little bit more breathing uh, for the links here although the oyster style links tend to be more of a sporty type jubilee a little bit more of the luxurious type but still luxury is all you is all you really need here and you certainly get it with the oyster bracelet no pinching there's no there's no tolerance on these links so it's not going to pinch the skin not going to pull out any hairs you'll be just fine when it comes to the weight incredibly light although i won't say that it's the lightest case at 41 millimeters you will put this on your wrist and you will know certainly that it is a Rolex because Rolex watches, they're not the lightest, but you know that you're getting your money's worth with Rolex. So enough of what I think. What do you guys think about this watch? It certainly slides very nicely under a suit cuff. So would you wear this to your next meeting or perhaps out at your next tennis match? Let us know down in the comments below. And why have I not seen this earlier? I've I've seen the yellow gold and white gold versions of this uh, two-tone watch, but not the rose gold version. Is there a reason why you might like this one or might not like this one? Let us know again down in the comments below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, visit our store at jazztime.com. Links in the description below where you can get it for the lowest possible price online anywhere. Well, there is only one internet, right? So we'll see you in our store at jazztime.com. Links in the description below. Take care and we'll see you next time. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. 
If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.